Congratulations, you got the full Alvarez experience today. What was it like coming up there, and when did you realise you had this stage? Um, honestly, only with 800 metres to go. Um, yeah, like, I didn't really know what to do, you know, I, I kind of wanted to, yeah, get going because I didn't want to get caught. Um, but yeah, so, and honestly, I don't know if I went too hard or whatever, but actually I paced it pretty well. Um, but that was unbelievable. One of the craziest experiences ever. I mean, I can barely hear anything. Probably got hearing damage. Um, yeah, that was ridiculous. It was, after yeah, many points I thought I was going to get uh, taken out. <laughs> and listen, uh, on the descent from the Côte de Quite Fair, there was a motorbike with you. Cameraman looked down 105 kilometers an hour. That's a lot faster than I fancy going on a bike. Is that a record for you? It was is, something watching you descend, you know? That is a record, yeah. I've never been over 100k an hour, so... Uh, it helps when there's uh, the roads are closed, doesn't it? And with the lines you were taking, even coming down the Galivier, that's where you made the big difference. It was it was astonishing to watch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm lucky that I can descend. Otherwise, I wouldn't have won today. Because uh, yeah, there was, I don't think there was any way of me getting away uh, the start of the stage. But I knew if the brake was close enough um, at the top. I could go across on the descent because that descent was pretty twisty. Um, yeah, lucky Froome was in front, we worked well together to get across. And then, yeah, the gap kept going out, so uh, yeah, thanks to Jumbo for not uh, chasing us down. And one last thing, uh, Garen Thomas moves into a podium position, you take the stage. Nice. How much better could it get? Yeah, that is good, yeah. I don't know what's happened behind, to be honest, but uh, what did happen? Oh, well, uh, G broke across, Vinigo, Paul Gauchar, and, and G, there okay. or thereabouts. Nice. Good. Good day then, isn't it? Chris, you had a front row seat for those descents by Tom Pitcock. Just how impressive were they? Yeah. They, uh, he, was, he was flying on the descents today. Um, I think that's where his bike handling and his mountain biking probably came in handy today. And uh, there, were, there were a few points where I, I definitely backed off on the wheel a little bit there because it's definitely pushing. Definitely pushing the limits. I know you disappointed Chris, but to finish third today, <laughs> in, in, in this setting, the biggest stage in cycling with the crowds that we saw and we heard today, I mean, how, how good a feeling is that? Yeah, I mean, I, I have no regrets today. I would have, naturally, I would have loved to have uh, put my hands up in the air and tried to try to win the stage, but I gave it absolutely everything I had today, and uh, I, I don't have don't have any regrets. I think where I've, where I've come from the last three years, um, battling back after my accident to finish third on one of the hardest stages of the tour, I, I can be really happy with that, and I'm I'm going to keep keep pushing. Um, I don't know where my limits are. I'm going to keep uh, keep trying to improve and uh, hopefully get back to to winning ways again. Yeah.